We're going to work on the code challenge number one, to sum. Okay, given an array of integer nums and an integer target, return the indices of two numbers such as they add up to the target. You may assume that each input will have exactly one solution and you may not want to use the same element twice. You can return the answer in any order. And then we have an example here and it says, uh, basically it's displaying the two inputs that the function is going to take in. In this case, it's an array of numbers and a target number. And so our output in this example is two indices, which is uh, index zero and index one of the array, because that equals the sum to the target number. And it has the explanation here in the example. So nums zero, which is this array at index zero, we have the value of two, and we're gonna add that to nums at index one, which is seven. So two plus seven is equal to the target sum. Yes, it is. So then it's going to return the two indices in this case, which is 0 and 1. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. There's multiple ways we can solve this problem. We can either sort the list and use pointers, or we can also use a hash table, and which would be the most efficient way to go about it. Um, but in this example, we are actually going to use a for loop twice. So we're going to use for loops just to clear out the brute force solution. And so we're going to use for declaring a variable i and send it to the value of zero. And then we're going to say as long as i is less than the length of our array, we want to go ahead and increase that value by one each iteration. And then we're going to go ahead and traverse our array again. This time we're declaring a variable j and we're sending it to the value of i plus one because at each iteration, it's going to go ahead and move one next to our first loop of i. And so we are going to say j is less than the num's length, because we want to iterate through the whole array. And then we want to increment that value as we go along. And so we're going to set the condition if, let's say, num's j is equal to our target number minus nums i, then this should give us, we should return basically the indices, which is j and i for this example. And if it's not there, then we want to go ahead and return an empty array if the number is not found. Let's go ahead and run this, make sure everything's correct. And there you go. There's the solution.